Infinity Photo, how to add a dashed edge to an image or layer. Well, there's a few ways of doing it. I'm just going to go through a couple of them. So let's just start right at the beginning. So I've got this layer. What I can now do is go over here and select the rectangle tool. And that's a rectangle because, of course, I've got a rectangular image. If you've got a circular design, use a circle. If you've got an irregular shape, use the pen tool to create that shape. And then create that rectangle. Now you can see it's got dashes. Now yours probably won't have that. I've got fill there, I've got stroke, you can change the color if you want, but just click here. Go for the dash style, it might be solid, but just go for dash and set it to 22, 25, 32. Also you can change different settings here, you can see you get that, change the settings here, and so on. Well what you can then do is this rectangle, you can just drag it down. And I'm just gonna drag it down and highlight the whole thing, let's just show you what happens. I do that, you lose the image. I don't want that. So what you need to do, undo. Just bring it back to what it was. There's the rectangle there. Simply just drag down and make certain it only the image is selected, that blue there, that image, and release. Now go over here to the Move tool and then Resize. And then you can see, as soon as you do that, you end up with this design. You're resizing this rectangle. The rectangle needs to be resized. You can move it around like that. You can resize it even more, say like down there to get different postage stamp designs. Maybe like that. Okay, once you've got that, what you can also do is go over to the rectangle tool and you can change it. So maybe go for, instead of 25, go for 50. Again, it's selected here. You can just tweak it. You can also change these settings. You can see you can get different effects just by doing that. Also, remember to scale with object. Put that, turn that on, makes it easier much nicer. You can always of course, tweak it each and every time. So once you've done that, you can manipulate it even more. Simply select this one, the background, go down to effects, just down here, click here. And now scale with object gain, turn that on, and also go to outline. And then you can go obviously different blending modes, but I'm just going with normal. Outside, you can go with center, I'm going with the outside, radius, you increase that, maybe make it like 13 or 16, and then different colors, contour, gradient, and so on. But I'm just gonna go with solid color, obviously black, but you could change it to red, green, etc. Also what you can do, you can go here, you can click plus, duplicate the effect, so duplicate the effect, and then you got two. Now for some weird reason, and I do not know why, this option here where you can move them up and down seems to have suddenly become not available. I don't know why, it's very odd, but what you can do, just go over here and you can see, just change the color. So let's just go for say red. And you can increase the radius there, maybe make that one 46. Now, because it's above, in fact, you wanna go the other way. So you wanna reduce that down, say maybe go for say 14, outline there, go for the radius, and you can then combine it that way. So you have to try, tweak these settings, but for some weird reason, it seems to have lost that feature to be able to move it up and down. Do not know why. I'm not certain why that's not working. However, you can see, you can create some interesting combinations of colors using that. You might just want obviously a single one, and then click close. Again, go to the rectangle, select that, and again, you can tweak this modify the setting and see, create different effects that way. So that's one way of adding an interesting edge to a layer. Now another option, and let's just go over here to layers, and I'm just gonna remove this. So just delete it. And you can see I've still got that edge there. But unfortunately, which is so odd feature, if you double click there to get the effects, effects up, unfortunately, outline in here, is not the equivalent of stroke, even though it looks like it. It's not the equivalent because there's no option for the dashes. Don't know why they didn't put that in, but they didn't. So without that, how do you get them just using a more conventional approach? Well, my solution is always, I think, always aim for the easiest way. And the easiest way is just again, create a rectangle. Let's just create a rectangle. And you've got the design there. 
And you can see you can tweak that again in any kind of way you want. Simply drag it down, but instead of dragging it onto it, just drag it below. And then you've got that. You've got your dash. Now you could, of course, create another one, put it on top. So let's just duplicate that. So rectangle and duplicate. And with that, just drag it above, put it on top. Now you can't see the design. Well, that's not ideal. But what you can do is you go up to the fill, click here, just go down here to this, which removes the fill. So let's just remove the fill and you're back to. So now you've got your design below, behind, and all those sort of things. And you, of course, could create different ones to create interesting effects. So you can have it either above, below, whatever, just by changing the fill for the top one. Have the one below. I would like to have two, because what you can do is now you can create even more complex designs. So just click here and maybe change this one. And you can see as you change that, you get a different result there. Maybe change it there, maybe reduce that. And you can see then you get different results there. And also you can change color. So obviously you've got there black, maybe go for click there and go for red. So you can create a slightly more interesting but of course you could have multiple layers on top of this. You don't have to just keep it as one now. You got that base one there, which is fine. But with this one, right click and duplicate again. And then go up here, change the color, maybe go with green this time. And then again, just tweak this. Let's just go for that. And you can put it to say 70, maybe change this setting. And you can see as you change it, you get a result like that. Now it's not ideal, but it's a way of doing it. It's a workaround. And of course, obviously, if you do lots of things, different layers, it becomes a bit of a mess. That's why the other way of doing it with the stroke means it's all in one package, one layer. But we can always simply right click and then just group. So group, and you've got this design. Now as a group, you can move it around, resize it like that. And of course, still just go here and tweak the individual ones, move them, convert them to curves, all those kind of things, distort it, maybe apply effects. So you don't have to keep it as a rectangle, simply this design to select it, go to filters, maybe go to distort and deform. And with that, you can then add some pins around the edge and then simply just drag and you can then distort that frame to create um, even more unusual frame and click apply and also of course go to the pixel click effects and you can then go for say outline with that create something like that an outline effect to the outline and also click here and outer shadow radius offset and intensity and so on whole range of different options there yeah there's the actual shadow effect click close and you can see you can create some interesting outline or frame effects to any image. There's probably other ways of doing it, of course. There always are in many applications like this. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Bye.